In this tutorial, we'll take a quick look at getting started with Replay 360 and creating your first screen recording. So to get started, just click New Project, and that brings open a new project window in Replay. Now to get started with the screencast, all you do is click this Record Screen button right here. It's going to minimize Replay, and then it brings open Replay's uh, screen recorder. So you can see that you can drag this screen recorder around, so if you want to position it over an application. You have the sizing handles right here, and you'll notice that as I click and drag, it maintains the aspect ratio of, uh, of the original recording. And those aspect ratios are set up right here. So in this case, it's 720 by 540, which is a, a 4 by 3 for PowerPoint and Storyline. And if you wanted to go for the widescreen, which you're seeing more of now, the 16.9 ratio, select it. And then as you click and drag, you'll see that your uh, window resizes, gets larger or smaller but it's always maintaining that 16.9 aspect ratio. You could also go full screen if you want to record the entire desktop or no screen recording and just simply record your webcam video. I'm going to jump it back to 4x3. Now if you have an application open, let me bring open PowerPoint, you can resize your recorder around PowerPoint or you could come in here and choose select a window and then I can just click around that window to get that, that setting. In this case, it happens to be sized at 600, 800 by 600, which is a 4 by 3. But let's say, for example, that maybe my window is something else. If I wanted to, I really have two choices now. I can select the window and record PowerPoint at whatever size it's currently open, or, which this is not really a, a ratio of 4 by 3 or 6.9, what I could do is begin with my screen recorder. Say if I want a 4 by 3, let's just drag this out to say like around 800 by 600 and then I'm just going to resize my application to fit inside of there. So you have a couple options for just getting that, 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 that screen recording frame positioned around whatever applications you're recording. Now down here you see that my audio is being recorded. I can select my microphone from this drop down. And if I wanted to record a webcam video, I can certainly do that. By default, it's off. If I click it on, it's going to bring up a preview of my webcam. And there we go. Yep, there we are. You can see that you have the webcam options. In this case, I'm just using my built-in FaceTime camera, right, for the, my display. If you had some other webcams, you'd be able to select them there as well. So that's your webcam that you can choose. Now, the capture area, very similar to the frame recording size, right? We're uh, basing it on an aspect ratio of 4 by 3, and you can see all the variations I have right here. Then you also have a couple 16.9s. Now, those, whatever you see in this drop-down is going to be based on your computer and your video camera, your webcam. A camera. So you may see more options, you may see fewer, but uh, that's really where these are all coming from. Now, when you're recording, it's probably a good idea to keep your webcam minimized. Otherwise, you'll probably likely to continue to glance over at yourself while you're recording. So even though um, I minimize this, it's still recording, and I can know that my webcam is on, and of course I can see my camera light is also on. Whenever you've gotten through this, you have a couple options finally just for some shortcuts, right? If you want to stop the recording, if you want to pause or resume, you can obviously change these, but uh, the defaults certainly work fine uh, for replay. So I'll click OK. Now, whenever you're ready to record, just click the record button. You'll get a quick countdown from three, two, one. When you're ready to go, just start uh, talking, teaching, and uh, demonstrating, right? So whatever you say and do now uh, will be recorded, both as the webcam and the screencast. There's a fantastic looking presentation. Let's say that's all I need to do. I'll click done. And that brings everything open here in the replay window. Now you'll see down here in the timeline, we have two primary tracks. We have an A track, which is the screencast recording, and a B, which is your webcam. And the webcam obviously has uh, the audio right there. Now we'll learn more about the different tracks and how to mix them. But essentially, you record everything and you just choose through the mixing what it is you want to show. So if I choose the primary A and the secondary B, which is what you see right here, I've got the webcam uh, as a smaller video here in a primary video. And if I wanted to reverse that, you just choose uh, right click and then choose B with a sub of A. And then there's my video. And you can see where it transitions from one to the next. So we'll learn more about all the different ways that you can work with the mixed tracks. But for now, that's how easy it is to record your webcam and screencast in replay. If you want to save your project, just click the Save icon up here in the Quick Access Toolbar, or choose File, Save. Give your project a name, and click Save. 
and you're all set. And that's how easy it is. We'll cover a lot more detail of editing and mixing your replay videos in the following tutorials.